Hi everyone! Continue tayo sa ating lesson na grade 5 math, quarter 4, module 4, lesson 2. So lesson 2 na tayo, solve routine and non-routine problems involving temperature. Okay, so ang last lesson natin is kung paano natin basahin yung ter uh, temperature. I-review lang natin siya ng konti. So, ang tawag sa device na ginagamit natin sa pag-measure ng um, hotness or coldness ng isang bagay is tinatawag na thermometer. And ang unit, ang metric unit na ginagamit para sa temperature is degrees Celsius or merong malit na circle dito at C sa baba. And then, 0 degrees Celsius is ang freezing point of water. Ang 37 degrees Celsius ang normal body temperature. Ang 100 degrees Celsius is the boiling point of water. So ngayon is proceed na tayo sa ating routine and non-routine problem. Meron tayong example dito. Tanya is having 40.4 degrees Celsius temperature. She took medicine and temperature, or nawala ang da, and the temperature dapat, and the temperature dropped by 3.2 degrees Celsius. What is her temperature now? So alam naman natin kapag routine at non-routine problem, Ang ating um, gagawin is meron tayong four steps na gagawin. First is understand, second is plan, third is solve, and then fourth is check and look back. So paulit-ulit lang talaga ang ating steps kapag routine and non-routine problem ang ating uh, ginagawa. Base sa ating example, mag-start na tayo. So ang first step natin is understand. Sa so, understand, meron tayong what is ask and given facts. So what is ask? Ano yung hinahanap natin sa ating problem? Ang hinahanap natin is what is her temperature now? So, what is her temperature now? Given facts. So, ang given facts natin is 40.4 degrees Celsius and 3.2 degrees Celsius. Ang step 2 is plan. Sa plan, determine the operation to be used. So, ano yung gagamitin natin na operation? Dahil meron tayong given dito, so i-determine natin kung ano kaya ang pwedeng gamitin natin na operation. So, base sa ating problem, ang gagamitin natin is subtraction. And then, i-write natin ang number sentence, kung paano natin siya i-sulat into number sentence. So, meron tayo dito, tas lang natin ng konti, 40.4 degrees Celsius minus 3.2 degrees Celsius is equal to N. Step 3 na tayo which is solve. So, so solve is solve na natin ang ating problem. So ang ating number sentence is 40.4 degrees Celsius minus 3.2 degrees Celsius is equal to. So kung i-subtract natin si uh, 40.4 minus 3.2. Ayan. So, 4 minus 2 is equal to 2. And then, 0 minus 3 cannot be bar 1 from 4. So, si 0 magiging 10. At si 4 magiging 3. So, 10 minus 3 is equal to 7. And then, 3, bring down natin si 3. So, kopyahin natin ang decimal point dito sa gitna. Ayan. So, 40.4 minus 3.2 is equal to 37.2. So, ibig sabihin, ang sagot natin is 37.2. Step 4 is check and look back. So, i-check natin kung tama bang ba process natin ginagawa, tama ba yung pagkasubtract natin. So, i-check natin kung tama bang ang 37.2 natin. I-add natin ang ating um, present reading sa ating 3.2. So, 37.2 plus 3.2 is equal to 40.4. So, 40.4 degrees Celsius. So, ibig sabihin tama ang ating solution. Now, isulat natin ang ating complete answer. Ang ating complete answer, therefore, the temperature of Tanya after taking medicine is 37.2 degrees Celsius. So, ito na yung sagot natin. Another example tayo, the recorded temperature for 5 days were 21 degrees Celsius, 27 degrees Celsius, 29.2 degrees Celsius, 29.8 degrees Celsius, and 30 degrees Celsius. What was the average temperature? So, four steps pa rin yung gagamitin natin. Ang first step natin is understand. So, understand what is asked. Ano yung hinahanap natin? What was the average temperature? Given facts. Ano yung given natin? 21 degrees Celsius, 27 degrees Celsius, 29.2 degrees Celsius, 29.8 degrees Celsius, and 30 degrees Celsius. Now, plan. What operation to use? So, ano yung gagamitin nating operation? Sa pagkuha ng ating average, kasi average yung hinahanap natin, kailangan nating i-add lahat ng ating given. So, gagamit tayo ng addition. Pagkatapos nating i-add sila lahat, i-divide natin ang ating uh, na sum. So, i-divide natin. That's why meron tayong division. I-divide natin sila. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, i-divide natin ang natotal natin into 5. That's why meron tayong division. Number sentence. So, paano natin siya isulat sa number sentence? 
So, ganito pagkasulat, 21 plus 27 plus 29.2 plus 29.8 plus 30 divided by 5 is equal to N. Solve na tayo. So, i-add natin ang 21, 27. Sige, i-add natin siya para makita natin kung tama ba yung sagot natin. 21, 27, 29.2, 29.8, 29.8. 30. So, i-add natin siya. 2 plus 8 is equal to 10. Bring down 0. Carry 1. 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. Plus 7 is equal to 9. Plus 9 is equal to 18. Plus 9 is equal to 27. Plus 0, 27. So, bring down 7. Carry 2. At, kopyahin na natin ang ating decimal point dito. So, 2 plus 2 is equal to 4. Plus 2 is equal to 6. Plus 2 is equal to 8. Plus 2 is equal to 10. Plus 3 is equal to 13. So, 137. So, ang total nilang lahat is 137 divided by 5 is equal to N. Ngayon, si 137 i-divide natin kay 5. Bakit 5 yung i-divide natin? Kasi ang ating na-add dito is 5 sila lahat. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, sa pagkuha ng average, i-total mo lahat itong mga number. Pagkatapos, i-divide mo kung ilang number sila lahat. And since 5 sila lahat, so i-divide mo ang total sa 5. So, i-divide natin si 137 divided by 5. 13 divided by 5 is equal to 2. 2 times 5 is equal to 10. Bring down 3. Bring down 7. So, 37 divided by 5 is equal to 7. And then, 7 times 5 is equal to 35. Subtract. 7 minus 5 is equal to 2. So, magdagdag tayo ng 0. Lagyan natin ang decimal point. 20. So, 20 divided by 5 is equal to 4. So, that's why 4 times 5 is equal to 20, and then 20 minus 20 is equal to 0. So, that's why ang sagot natin is 27.4. Check and look back. So, i-check natin kung tama ba yung ginawa natin dito sa solve. I-check din natin kung tama ba pagka-add at tama ba pagka-divide. So, ngayon is i-check na natin siya. So, 27.4, ang sagot natin dito, 27.4 ang kanyang average. Kapag i-multiply natin siya ng 5, is mag-result siya into 137. So, ibig sabihin tama ang ating sagot dito. Now, ang ating complete answer, therefore, the average temperature for 5 days was 27.4 degrees Celsius. So, ito na yung sagot natin. That's all for today's video, guys. See you in our next lesson. Bye!